You've already learned how to spot simple checkmates, and you've learned many other types of tactics you can use to create winning positions, like discovered attacks, removing the defender, and sacrifices. It's time for you to start looking deeper and deeper into the position and find checkmate in three moves. This actually means three of your moves and two of your opponent's moves, so you're looking pretty deep into the position. Let's look at a few examples. In this position, white has doubled rooks on the f-file, and black has only one rook on the back rank. Notice the black rook on a8 and the king on g8, both guard f8. What if we could move the king and force it to the corner to h8? Then there would be only one protector on f8, and the rooks would be able to work together and deliver checkmate. Can you see the mate in three? Knight e7 check. Forces the king to h8. Black's king is now in the corner, and f8 is only protected by the rook. White plays rook to f8, checking the king, and forcing rook takes f8. And now it's over. After rook f8, checkmate. If you saw all those moves in advance, great job. Let's take a look at another mate in three position. Looking at your most forcing moves available first can help you find complicated checkmates. Black only has two checks. One is taking the pawn with the queen, and that doesn't look very promising. What about the other check, knight to f3? Notice the knight connects with the queen on h2, so if the king moves away, it's checkmate. After knight f3 check, can't white just take the knight, g takes f3? Well, yes. But does that allow another check now that the g-file has been opened? The queen can go onto the g-file and check the king. With queen to g6 check, that forces the king to h1. And now, can you find one more check? We have a pawn on f3, no longer protected. Aha! Uh -huh. The bishop on b7 could capture the pawn and deliver checkmate. Can you see all of that? Let's take a look at it together. Knight to f3 check. Forcing white to take the knight. G takes f3. Now that the g file is open, black can play queen to g6, checking the king. The king is forced to h1, and now it's stuck in the corner, vulnerable to attack. Black finishes the game with bishop takes f3. Checkmate. Let's look at one more position together. In this position, White appears to be in serious trouble as black is threatening queen to b2, checkmate. There doesn't seem to be a good defense. Maybe white can't defend, but can white attack? There's a force mate in three for white. Since white is about to get checkmated, every move needs to be a check. Can you find it? If only white's queen could move to h7, imagine that position. A queen on h7 for white would be a checkmate. Can white somehow get the queen there? Yes. After rook h8, the king is forced to take the rook and enter the h-file. Can white's queen deliver a check on the h-file? Yes. Queen h5. The king is forced to g8, and now it's mate in one. Queen h7. Checkmate. Great work solving checkmate in three problems. Now it's your turn to practice finding three-move checkmates on your own.